Hi, welcome to the shop. Today I'm going to be making some parts on my new Tormach PCNC 1100. It has the automatic tool changer, power drawbar, and a custom made stand, coolant system, tool rack, and custom made splash guard. First operation, we're going to drill some holes. Half inch holes, a thousand RPM, five inches per minute feed, using a fast peck of forty thousandths per peck. I've been optimizing the peck cycles to avoid buildup of long stringy chips on the drill bit. It's a bit of an art form and I think I've got it for the half inch, but the other sizes probably need a little more tweaking. Also keep in mind that this video is not edited or sped up because many people who are thinking about buying a Tormach are interested in, well, what's the real cycle time? So it might seem a little boring at times watching it go through its paces, but this is how I make parts. Of course, I've only had the machine in operation for a week, and I'm sure that after a while, I'll be able to optimize tool path to get a little bit faster cycle time, but some of the timing here still shows you the general performance of the machine, in particular the time it takes to do a tool change. It's a bit of a balance trying to keep the drill bit clean and also speed up the process. I could run it a whole lot faster, but the chips would, the, the stringy chips would become a real mess. Okay, here comes the tool change. This is a deep, decorative countersink. These holes are mostly for lightening the part, but they also serve a decorative purpose. And so this countersink is being done to kind of make the edges look a little nicer. It's a 7 8 diameter, six fluke countersink, running at 800 RPM and five IPM. I'm still getting a tiny bit of chatter and I think in the future uh, tool path I may reduce the, IP, the, the RPM a little bit more. Before I had the Tormach and I drilled the holes in these parts on my bridge port, my two-axis bridge port, I countersunk them all by hand, and of course that meant they were all slightly different. I like the uniformity of machine-made countersink. Kind of would be nicer if it had a faster Z-Rapid, but Overall, I think the Tormach is a marvelous machine for the price.
Here's a quarter inch hole at 5140 RPM, which is the max RPM of the machine. Also 5 IPM feed and a peck of 40 thousandths. For the smaller size drill bits, I use a full peck instead of the fast peck. I find it clears the chips better. The next operation is a 7 sixteenths reamed hole. This hole will accept a pressed in bronze bearing, so I want the tolerance to be pretty tight. I start off with a 27 sixty-fourths drill at 1500 RPM, 5 IPM feed, and a 40 thousandths peck. Looks like I need to optimize the peck a little more because the chips are building up. And then sometimes you get lucky. As I continue to optimize the tool path, I'll probably put all the countersinking operations together in order to avoid this extra tool change and this extra x-axis traverse. But for today, hey, at least it works. Two hundred and fifty RPM and five inches per minute feed on the seven sixteenths reamer. Next, we're going to tap some holes. These are going to be 832 holes at 75% thread. The drill is rotating at 5140 RPM, 5 IPM feed, and a peck of 40 thousandths. Kind of like all my other pecs. Maybe it's a pattern. Seems to work well. Seems to keep the drill bit clean. The Tomok doesn't support full rigid tapping. It does support almost full rigid tapping using the compression tension tapping head. The reason that it doesn't support full rigid tapping is that the spindle is not fully closed loop CNC controlled. The spindle speed is controlled by the control system, but not precisely enough to do complete rigid tapping. Although the compression tension head seems to do the job, the threads come out nice. I'm using a spiral tap that pulls the chip up out of the hole and appears to work reliably. I've been told I can do 440 on the machine and I'm just going to wait and see if that actually works. Okay, now we're going to do some serious milling here. I mean, not that serious, I mean, just aluminum, but full depth. 3 8 60 61 with a 3 8 diameter 3 flute lakeshore carbide cutter zirconium nitride coated 3000 rpm 5 ipm plunge 7 ipm cut full depth Not really straining the machine a lot, 
not using a lot of spindle horsepower, not chattering. I can probably push it faster. The cooling system seems to be doing a good job of keeping the chips under control. And now a finish pass. 3,000 RPM, 10 inches per minute plunge, 20 inches per minute cut, full dip. And there's our part. There are more operations to follow and I'll make videos of those as well. Bye-bye.